coming soon from Crash Mount Pictures. The Cassini Titan 4B rocket explodes, sending a cloud of plutonium into Washington, killing the President of the United States. With everyone in the chain of command dead, there's only one man to run the country. Could I please have your... Nice titties. Could I please have your attention? One country polluted by plutonium, united by the cable guy. We must learn to live together, black, yellow, pokey dog, green, purple, Puerto Rican, Chinaman, colored, white, Polak, queer, well, maybe not queer. Come together, people! Cisco and Ebert say it's better than Porky's 3. The New York Times says we love the full frontal nudity. The Cassini Tragedy coming to theaters near you. Rated GED. Get her done! It's a good crowd tonight, I tell you what. Make me happier than a busload of retards on the way to Chuck E. Cheese when I come in here and see me <laughs> That's pretty happy right there, ain't it? <laughs> Oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> oh, dang, that's good there. Oh, dang, I'm in a good mood. I'll tell you what, for having diarrhea, I'll tell you what, I'm happy being here. <laughs> oh, dang. These ain't that good of seats now, are they? <laughs> My brother, he's in trouble. His wife, he come home the other day, you know, and he says to his wife, says, what you want for your anniversary? He said, I want a divorce. <laughs> it's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I dang, I wasn't planning on spending that much this year. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that took him by surprise, you know. God dang. Hey, crazy. But there's good looking girls in here, and I love women. God bless you. God dang, I'm going to rub myself so hard a genie's going to pop out. Look at these girls. <laughs> And they all got real titties, too, and that's the thing I like about I like real titties. Sick and tired of them fake tits. You know, God dang, I don't want bookends. You know, I want titties. And I love titties. And I dreamt one time I was a girl and I had titties. Good God Almighty, it's ridiculous. Big old floppy titties. Look like Buster Douglas. That's bullshit, but I do love the titties. My girlfriend, though, went and got them fake tits. She didn't even get good ones, you know. She got them fake Lee Press on titties. And <laughs> some bitch, God dang, man. I damn near chipped my front teeth on them some bitches there. Them nipples is like cement rocks on there. But they're carrying this fake titty bullshit too far. Serious. I dang grandma got fake tits. <laughs> You believe that bullshit? 82 years old, walking around with the fake tits. She looks horrible. I think she looks good. She looks like an old Toyota with new rims. You know what I mean? <laughs> she, she looks good. She just don't start up no more, you know. Uh, dang. She went sex therapist the other day, and he says to her, you and your husband have a mutual climax. <laughs> she said, hell, I don't know. I think we got a state farm, but... God dang, bless her heart. She's a good girl. Old grandma. She got worms, you know. We found that out yesterday. <laughs> ah, poor woman. God bless her, though. That explains, though, why she's been dragging her ass on the carpet, you know. She <laughs> couldn't figure that out for the longest time, Mary. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and the commentary you're just about to hear is the first one I ever done did. I went to DeVry Elementary. I was part of the DeVry Fighting Vice Scripts football team when I was a toddler. I never played football when I got older. People call me names, call me sissy, wussy, pansy, because I was in the band. But to hell with them. I loved the baton. I always have loved it. Little steel rod with rubber on the ends. Boy, that's good. That's good. But I was in the band, and this is the first commentary I ever done did. I was in the fourth grade. I did it over the loudspeakers with the DJ they had there at the station. And when they heard this commentary, boy, the administrators was madder than Janet Reno's blind date. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's pretty mad there. Can you imagine that poor bastard went out with Janet Reno? What'd she look like? Willie Nelson with a set of titties. Oh, she's horrible. <laughs> Boy, she's so ugly, she got marks on her from where people been touching her with the ten-foot poles. <laughs> if she was in a one-person beauty contest, she'd come in third. <laughs> I tell you what, she was horrible. I mean horrible. I mean horrible. She was in the Guinness Book of Yuck. <laughs> if she was in a before and after picture, she would have been the during. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. The elephant man come up to her and said, What the hell happened to you? When she was a child and she was hungry, starvation wouldn't even look her in the face. 
But anyway, enough of Janet Reno. God bless her for giving me some material. Hope you enjoyed his commentary. That a good girl, Dan. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this, Roger? <laughs> Big old fat gal trying to sue a theater because she won't fit in the seats. It God almighty. That's ridiculous. It ain't the damn theater's fault Mrs. Hindenburg's fat ass won't fit. They didn't force her to eat half the country's food supply. She done it to herself. <laughs> Damn. You gotta hire a rodeo clown to distract that guy when you bring home the groceries. <laughs> Woman's huge. She's standing on the street corner. Cop went up to her and said, break it up. <laughs> Woman's huge. She's at the beach with a 14-piece bikini on. <laughs> Woman was huge. And here's another thing gets me madder than a deported Haitian. This guy wants to have handicapped status. Good God. Now, let me tell you, I love all folks, short man. Uh -huh. But to me, handicapped would be that poor Vietnam vet that lost a leg in Korea. All right? Not big fat Frida lost an eye in a battle with a fruit cup. <laughs> <laughs> this world's gone crazy. And that ain't all. Now the theater's gonna let Mrs. Cheesecake bring a lawn chair into the movie to accommodate her bubbly butt. <laughs> Good Lord, scratch my balls and call me shorty. <laughs> Now, folks, he's going to start. That's right. Bring her down. <laughs> That's right. Now, folks, he's going to start bringing her own furniture into the movie. Good God, first I got to deal with a tall guy wearing a hat in front of me. Now I got to try to see around Mama Cass with her lazy boy stuck in the upright position. <laughs> I got a solution to this whole problem. It's called have a salad every now and then. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with having love handles, but the whole suitcase is carrying it a bit too far. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you're so damn fat when you're naked, it looks like you're wearing bell bottoms. You got a problem. <laughs> It all boils down to how you feel, okay? If you're as big, then fine, enjoy it. But don't be taking folks to court because your white ass won't fit at the matinee. Like Oprah's boyfriend once said to Oprah. <laughs> Quote, Hey, get off my face, I can't hear a damn radio. <laughs> Unquote. That's horrible, that's great. Lord, apologize for... Talking about Oprah, her big old butt, <laughs> and her boyfriend here in the radio. Amen. I used to date a redhead. You redhead. Used to date a redhead. I had no hair, just a redhead, you know. <laughs> I dang, she good looking though. You look like Christy Brinkley, only she's a little shorter and the face was different. <laughs> so, other than that though, look just like her, you know. But she I was drunk, she looked like Christy Brinkley. You know? and next morning old David Brinkley's laying there in the bed. Hey, that was horrible. That was scarier than Janet Reno coming at you in a negligee carrying a box of rubbers, I'll tell you what. Hey, that was scary. Well, God dang, but I do love women. They're redheads is mean though. You mean you ain't mean, are you? No, you ain't mean. Boy, this redhead. I this redhead one time come over to my house and put a slinky on my wiener and shove me down the staircase. <laughs> you believe that? One Christian, we just come home from church. <laughs> then I was with this one redhead work at the circus. She's at the circus. She's one of them female clowns. And we made love in there and she twisted my wiener into a poodle dog and <laughs> Rubbed me on the carpet and hung me to the curtains for about an hour and a half, two hours. 
what I do love women. I ain't never had a ten my whole life, you know. But one year though, I done good. I had five twos, you know. So that adds up. Adds up in the long run. But I like them girls that wear them sexy panties and stuff, you know. I love them. Anybody wear the sexy panties? Anybody speak English in here at all? Or <laughs> I don't. Like y'all immigrant crowd in here tonight. <laughs> y'all sitting there like, hey, we didn't know we had to know shit when we come in here. <laughs> Thought you just paid the fee and heard the speaking. Ah, <laughs> dang. You wear camouflage panties? Boy, crotchless camouflage panties is good. I love that stuff, you know, all the sexy sorts of drawers they got nowadays. I dang, went to see this girl I'd been seeing there, and I bought her four pair of strawberry panties. And uh, I bought four, you know, because I usually eat about three of them on the way over, you know. So. But they, God dang, they're good. Uh, <laughs> thank God they don't come in biscuits and gravy, I'll tell you that right there. I dang, I'd still be down there eating them some bitches. I'll make that last. I dang. I love them drawers. I seen this big gal, this big old 400 pounder. But she's from Canada though, so she's about 360 American. God dang, I bought her some licorice drawers. And, uh, but God dang, I ate half of them off her ass. I got so sick. Oh, oh God dang, I had way too much licorice for any one man. i tell you that much. God dang. Next time I buy her drawers, I'm gonna get her some of them tea back edible shorts. Cause them full blowed grandma panties, that's too much food. I'll tell you that much right there. Can't finish them. I was with a girl one time, had some chocolate drawers, and they was good. They're like, where'd you get them chocolate drawers? She's like, I didn't buy no chocolate drawers. Tell me, what the hell? I'm just kidding with you now. Come on now. <laughs> Hey, I'm hearing a lot of this shit for the first time myself, all right? <laughs> Believe me, I apologize for that. That's wrong. Let's pray, Lord. I apologize for talking about eating the poop drawers. And I ain't gonna do it again. Amen. But that is ridiculous. But I ain't here to talk about foolishness. That's foolish. But I do love a truck carts as drawers. You about that story that fella one to turn or a woman one turn her husband on put on them cross as drawers? He comes home, she said on the couch there's Brad Eagle. She said, You want some of this? He said, Hell no, look what they did, you're under shorts. <laughs> you gotta like that, that's funny. <laughs> that's fair now. I know. Get her dead. What the hell is this, Rush? You try to have computer dirty talk with a girl from Denver, and just before she describes her panties, I get thrown offline. <laughs> Good Lord, I'd have punched and busted that thing if I could have, but, but I was at Best Buy, and I didn't want to have to buy the thing. <laughs> I tell you, this whole cyber sex computer crap's overrated anyway. I'd rather buy a dirty book. At least when you're horny, you get a bunch of pictures quick and easy. With a computer, you got to sit there naked on a folding chair with a boner for 40 minutes looking stupid. <laughs> Thumbing through a country weekly magazine waiting on a blurry pair of half-downloaded boobs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I believe computers is the worst thing to happen to this country since Skinner's plane went down. <laughs> and so what if I was at Best Buy? They got a whole bunch of computers down there hooked up for demonstrations. If they don't want folks to cyber bang on them, they need to keep them in the boxes. <laughs> I tell you, computers is worthless. If the electricity cuts out, the world stops. In a rainstorm, a computer will go down quicker than Senator Barney Frank in a $19 motel. 
You know, I apologize to the Best Buy folks for dirty talking on their computers, and I told the manager I'd wipe up the hard drives. <laughs> and I was wrong. <laughs> and I won't do it again. <laughs> Tell you what, though, you got to be a sorry son bitch to talk dirty on a computer at night. Them girls probably ain't even good looking. They're probably 400 pounders eating deluxe grams, punching in who's and ahs. Oh, <laughs> you probably get a disease from them on the phone. I hate to think my computer busted because it's full of crabs. <laughs> like Janet Reno once said after getting thrown offline, quote, Doggone it, I ain't never going to get Bulldog.com. <laughs> Unquote. Larry. Hey, yeah. Boy, you know how much I love critters. God bless the critters. I'm a big fan of critters. All colors and creeds. And puppy dogs I love the most. But you know there's some puppy dogs you like to cuddle and hold, and other puppy dogs you hope they dry hump a chair and their wiener gets splinters. Well, let me tell you, I got me a good Australian shepherd dog puppy, and I done read a poem called God Bless My Shepherd Dog. It's going to make me tear up. Got to get a hanky. I hope you enjoy my poem. God bless my shepherd dog, I love him like a son. We play frisbee and ball and have a lot of fun. Whenever I'm lonely and sad, he's there with a smile. Cut off tail and all, some bet you'd follow me for miles. In a world where folks is mean and rude, his four-legged love never ends. Harley ain't never had to scold him, except once when he growled at my colored friend. Boy, that's good. At night time when I'm sound asleep, my furry little buddy's keeping watch. He's like an angel sent from the Lord above. Boy, that shepherd dog's top notch. He don't leave no turds on my rug. He knows outside's for pooping. He is a critter with a brain. That son of a bitch ain't stupid. He don't bitch when I watch TV and sit and drink a beer. Hell, I'd marry that damn dog, but I can't. It's a felon. Well, I ain't queer. Boy, oh, that's, that's powerful. That's good there. That's good. That's good. I like to kiss and squeeze him and take him to the fair. He's like a pair of titties, except with hair. God bless my shepherd dog. I think he's swell. And if anybody ever hurt that dog, I hope I burn in hell. God bless my shepherd dog. He brings joy to my soul. Dear Jesus, thanks for my shepherd dog puppy. I pray he never grows old. God bless my shepherd dog. Get her done. Is it a menage a trois if you're making love to your girlfriend and the dog licks your butthole? Would that be a menage a trois at all? I I ain't done that. I'm just asking if it would be. I ain't done that. I'm just asking there. I better move on. (laughs) <laughs> but it was my girlfriend's birthday here recently and I took her out to a real fancy sit down restaurant and uh, so we was eating out there at the Hardy's out there and, and we was out there and I went ahead and done it I bought her a ring you know I figured what the hell you know we at fancy restaurant been going out a while and, She's looking at the ring. She's shocked. I wish I had a camera. She's looking at the mood ring I gave her. <laughs> you ever see them? Them some bitches work. I ain't kidding. When she was in a good mood, it was blue. And when she's in a bad mood, some bitch made a red mark right there on my forehead right there. <laughs> yeah, right. But we was sitting there at the Hardy's out there. And we was eating a breakfast buffet they got laid out. And she says to me, sweetheart, there's something wrong with me. And I'm like, well, baby, what's wrong with your birthday? She says, I can't quit farting. <laughs> I know, I was the same thing. I was like, God dang, keep it down. <laughs> quit farting. What's wrong with you? We at the Hardy's here. <laughs> dang, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Lord, that woman in the buffet line wearing a nightgown staring at us. <laughs> What you mean you can't quit farting? She 
He said, since we've been here eating a breakfast buffet here, I done let 12 silent farts. <laughs> what should I do? I said, you can go to the doctor and get your ears cleaned out. <laughs> They weren't silent. I could hear every one of them some bitches. <laughs> I ain't talking to me about farts, trying to watch ESPN on the TV there. This is a nice Hardee's. They got a TV in here. <laughs> but that's crazy. Old farting. People get mad at me. I talk about farting. People go, oh, he's talking about farts. I don't think that's funny. Yeah, let me tell you something. Farts is funny, all right? <laughs> People been laughing at farts from the day we was born in this country. And you'll laugh at farts to the day you die. Because the Lord give us farts to break the ice and conversation and things like that. I don't care who you are. Farts is funny. And if you've outgrown farts and you just go home and put a bullet in your head. I don't give a shit. If you can't enjoy a fart, you've missed out on a lot of life right there. That's ridiculous. You ever get the farts on a date? This is good here. This is what y'all do. It's first date. Is it really first date? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Give her a kiss on the mouth. Kiss her on the cheek. Oh, that's good. Uh, say, I'm a matchmaker. <laughs> Grab her titty a little bit there. Come on. <laughs> I'll just carry it. I'll just care with you. Don't freak out on me. Just a fucking joke. <laughs> but that's crazy. But if you get the farts on a date, let out one of them scout farts. You know what I mean? Let out one of them little Comanches out of there. Let it scout the whole car out there. If you don't smell nothing, let out another little scout there. Let the Comanche scouts. And if she don't smell nothing, then let the whole wagon train come on through that Sunday. She ain't gonna smell nothing. She ain't gonna smell nothing. Old farts. My grandma used to get in a fart contest years ago up in Jacksonville, Florida. But she get mad at us, too. We went one year and then we never went, you know. She's like, why don't you go support me no more at the fart contest? I got a chance of winning this year. Well, cuz, you like to rehearse in the truck on the way up there. Like, Man, can't you rehearse it all before you go? Almost threw up when you was rehearsing that battle hymn of the Republic medley. But I read a song about the fart contest in Jacksonville. And uh, it's a good song, but I got it. Song about the fart contest in Jacksonville. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Yeah. It goes like it. Hold on, let me see I'm tuned up here. Just sit right back and you hear a tale about a fart contest that happened up in Jacksonville to crown the very best. The champion was seasoned pro and could fart right on command. The challengers was full of beans. Ready to take the stand. <laughs> the contest started at one o'clock with a retard going first. He scored real big with a health food fart to come in three light bursts. Come in three light bursts. Then come a Chinaman with an egg roll fart. An old man had a chance, but he tried too hard in the final round, and the son of a bitch pooped his pants. Get her done. That's a good song, eh? Get her done! Uh, God dang. But I. I just broke up with my girlfriend tomorrow. <laughs> he uh, cheated on me with another man, and I had to write this song about her. 
I was trying, sitting there eating, and I went shopping, and, and I thought of this song as I was cruising through Wieners. <laughs> but she cheated on me with another man, and that was wrong. Song go like this. That's all I got so far out there is that. <laughs> I figured I didn't need any more there, you know. I had pretty much what I needed in there. But y'all like song? Take my love. Hey, Larry. That's Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Larry, you're perky. Oh, uh, perky and perky and nipples. <laughs> you're up. Old day. You are up. Today's special day, Larry. Why? Special day. What's Why special? is it a special day, Larry? Remember that, the Oscars? Yeah. yeah. Today's the day I hand out the Larrys. The Larrys. The Larrys. So it's a very big day for me. I'm going to get right into these because i got several categories. All right. You want to hear my Larrys? Yeah. Sure. But see, there was no buildup or, you know, no hype on the Larry. No. And, well, I tried to get it in the papers, and they just laugh at me, so... All you right. Did I'm, you contact Entertainment Tonight? Yeah, I'm going to do it after... Well, when they hear the winners, they will. Okay. okay. But these are movies that I've seen during the course of the year that nobody ever recognized. I think they should have their due. And uh, so I'm... Uh, some of them, there's just no uh, buddy running against them, and some of them, there's three candidates. Okay? Okay. Best documentary. <laughs> Candidates over. A uh, documentary called Running of the Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's where instead of the run of the bulls, they do the run of the Bulldogs. Right. They show how people try to get out the way from uh, Bulldogs running very fast at them. Okay, what else is uh, <laughs> up for this? Once I Had a Boner. It's a documentary about the tennis great Martina Navratilova. Okay. <laughs> okay. And the Kosher Street Gang. It's about an all-Jewish street gang. The kosher right. street gang? Yeah, they're in Miami. They're not violent. They just run around and do catering. <laughs> <laughs> drive-by catering. And okay. have, yeah, drive-by circumcision. All right. <laughs> and the winner is, Once I Had a Boner. Oh. Once I Had a Boner That's wins. Right. The all Martina right. Navratilova story. That's right. Now, we go to comedy category. Comedy? Nominees are the movie The Key Kicker. Key Kicker. It's about a feller that drops his keys in Key West and has to kick them all the way home. <laughs> it's called a key kicker. <laughs> Camel Toe High School. <laughs> oh, Fat teenagers with bongo jeans. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. That was pretty good if you'd been there and seen it. And then there's a, crime, a movie called Wooden Parts. Wooden Parts? By a fellow with a wooden wiener. And every time he sees a good-looking girl, he gets arrested for whittling. <laughs> and the winner, winner is, is <laughs> Camel Toe High School. Yeah. Yay! Yay. Camel Toe High School. That's That's good. Coming to cable soon. That's right. Best Foreign Picture. Best Foreign Picture. Okay. Well, nominees are The Haitian Mango Tragedy. <laughs> about a truck full of wormy mangoes and then here's a comedy about a 12 hour ride inside a migrant working bus after they got done picking weeds a movie called Pew Pew <laughs> and then here's another one about illegal immigrants standing around on a Saturday called Freeze Police <laughs> and the winner is Freeze, please. Yay! Now, Pew All come right. in close. Pew almost made it. Yeah. Well, they don't give the actual scores out. No, they don't give scores. Right. Now, best romantic movie. Best romantic movie. The Retard and the Kitty. <laughs> and uh, that's based for itself. It's about a retard and a kitty. And uh, a movie called They Said They'd Meet Us Here. About two fat guys at Danny's at 2 a.m. waiting on women. <laughs> Winner is... They said they'd meet us here. Retard and a kitty. Oh, oh, right. That was a good... That was a tear -jerker. 
Yeah. Was that a tearjerker? Oh, that was a tearjerker. Didn't see that one, Larry. <laughs> mm. Any more? Yeah, there's uh, two more categories. Two more categories, right. okay. Favorite dirty movie of the year, how many are Rambut and Titty Titty Bang Bang Part 1. And Titty Titty Bang Bang Part 2. Oh, yeah. that's a difficult choice there. I know. Winner is... Rambo. Titty Titty Bang Bang Part 2. Oh, part 2. Yeah. Yeah. Part 2. That's right. Uh, best Western. Yeah. Big the Titty best. Hannah from Butte, Montana. What was that again? Uh, called Big Titty Hannah from I, Butte, Montana. I thought you were staying at the Best Western. Uh, <laughs> you son <of> bitch. <laughs> and a movie called Giddy Up. Where a girl sits on a saddle wrong and loses her virginity. Okay. And a movie called I Said Posse. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is... I Said Posse. Of course it was. I Said Posse. Okay, it's me. I'm almost finished. Here. Posse cat, posse cat. <laughs> and then a horror movie ran uncontested. This took home all the awards. Uh, it was a science fiction horror movie called Fart Box. Fart box. That's where a cheerleader with a nice ass takes guys to her house. When they start making love, she takes her panties off, and a horrible creature crawls out of her ass and eats her. <laughs> 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 a fart box. Yeah, okay. A horrible creature crawls out of her ass and eats them. Yeah. That's right. All right. Now the best moment. Now these final three categories: best supporting actor in a movie. Gabe Kaplan in Fart Box. <laughs> Does he play the creature? He's one of the fellas gets eaten. He oh. ends up killing the he's an ass creature. Gabe, Gabe Kaplan, a nice comeback for him. That's yeah. right. He ends up killing the ass creature. What, this uh, this who, will be his comeback movie. Who's the best uh, best actress? Uh, Corky Carter in Retard and the Kitty. <laughs> and best actress? Oh, Tina Yothers in Camel Toe High School. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Yothers? <laughs> Camel Toe High School. <laughs> Tina Yothers, what show was she on? What TV show? She was on uh, the, the one with Michael J. Fox. Yeah. Family uh, Matters. Yeah. No, family Ties. Family, family Ties. ties. She was the youngest yeah. daughter, right? The ugly yeah. one. Yeah, the, yeah the she was uh, hard to look at one. <laughs> the camel toe. That's right. They're going to be good next year, too. Maybe you can help me bring out some of the awards. Okay. Tina All right, All right. God bless you. God bless you. I'm excited about the ladies. Yeah. You know, if you ain't made love to a girl in a while, they say it's like riding a bicycle. And by gosh, that's true, because yesterday I made love to this gal and the chain broke and I flew over her head. Boy, that's good. I don't care who you are. Hey, I was recently up in Kentucky at a family reunion, and there's some phrases you hear at a Kentucky family reunion I just got to share with you. My niece was there. She got nipples like sausages. Unfortunately, they was the patty-style sausages. But uh, these are the most commonly heard phrases heard at a Kentucky family reunion. Hope you enjoy. Boy, it's going to be good. Hey, you kids, quit playing in the toilet. That's number one. Number two, hey, y'all quit throwing lawn darts at the Rodriguez family reunion. Number three, <laughs> Grandma. Number four, Mom, Dad keeps grabbing my ass. Number five, everybody, I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend, Uncle Pete. Number six, now you all be nice to your sister's new colored husband. I'm here from New Guinea. Number eight, seven. Happy 23rd birthday, Grandma. Number eight. Hey, how come all the grandkids is retards? Get it up! Sick and tired of people suing cigarette companies. If that's how people are going to start getting fast cash in this country, I'm going to sue Snackwell Cookies for making my ass so fat. <laughs> that's right. Snack well. Says on that green package, fat free. Bullshit fat free. The only thing guaranteed with them some bitches is bad gas. That's about all guaranteed with that. You ever eat them some bitches? God dang, last time I had that much gas, I got two free sets of Texaco Havlin Ernie Irvin coffee mugs. God dang, that's ridiculous. Snack with animal on a Sioux Hustler magazine, them peckerheads. 
Hustler magazine. My wrists are getting carpal tunnel in them and the whole deal going on there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't play with myself. But I was cleaning it once, though, and it went off. I'll tell you that much. But I ain't here to talk about my balls. <laughs> but that crazy, all this non-smoking bullshit. Now, old waterhead President Corky up there. This some bitch, you know, tells us how much he cares about the poor people, and he takes thirty million dollars of their money and spends it on a party. Ain't that some shit? Thirty million dollars of our money spends it on a party, and who does he get for entertainment? Kenny Rogers. You gonna spend thirty million dollars get something good in there? How long has Kenny Rogers been circling the drain? Anybody tell me? God, thank Kenny Rogers. I'd rather hit my nuts with a rubber hammer than listen to Kenny Rogers for an hour and a half sing Ruby. Bill Clinton trying to tell people now that NASCAR's targeting kids to smoke cigarettes because they put tobacco stuff on their cars. What kind of bullshit is that? You know why kids smoke cigarettes? One, they think it makes them look tough, cut and dry. That's why they do it. I done it, okay? No NASCAR made me smoke. I didn't even know what the hell NASCAR was. You know? God dang, there's only two. You know? It's ridiculous. Who's going to sponsor NASCAR if it ain't Winston Cup? You know, they've been doing it for... What are you going to do? Get Stay free mini pads in there? <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, we got 43 cars this year in the Kotex Cup. <laughs> There's Jeff Gordon in the number 24 Strawberry Deuce, Chevy Monte Carlo, bless his heart. There's Dick Trickle in the Syphilis Ford coming down the road there, bless his heart. <laughs> Careful, Dick, don't jerk off him lug nuts. We're going to have a race every 28 days this year. It's going to be a three-day race. <laughs> hey, Larry, how'd you get tickets to the Tampon 200? <laughs> They're hard to get. I pulled some strings and got in that some of that <laughs> Get her done. That's good. Get her done. People drive me nuts in this country. And I'm fighting for freedoms here. I think that's ridiculous. You know? People is mean everywhere you go. We live in the greatest country in the world. People is mean. Some people are harder to understand than a choir full of hair lips singing a rubber band, man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> some believe it. I'm driving my truck the other day. Cut somebody off. Everybody's cut somebody off. No big deal. All right? Some bitch called me dickweed. <laughs> dickweed. What the hell's a dickweed, you know? <laughs> like they're growing that up in Oklahoma somewhere up there now, you know? Well, we ain't got no hay this year. We're going to try to put some dickweed out there and see what we got going on. I'm going to have to spray a hell of a lot, though. I don't want to get in with the pussy willows over there because it's going to be good. Then we're going to get kumquat. <laughs> you, can't, you can't have kumquats in this country. <laughs> ain't nobody buying kumquats. Go to the store the other day, buy toy soldiers for the toddlers. Some waterhead goofball up in the White House now, retard, told me. They're trying to weed out toy soldiers. Says it's too violent in this country. Well, God dang, no wonder we're raising a nation of twinkle toes. Everybody playing with Barney dolls. I had G.I. Joe. I never killed nobody. Ridiculous. First, and the worst thing I ever done with G.I. Joe was take my sister's Ken and Barbie and tie Ken up and dry hump to Barbie with the G.I. Joe. That's the worst thing I ever did. <laughs> That's right. I'll be in the back room there. There you are, Ken, you fag. That's the Marine Corps right there. <laughs> That's the Marine Corps. <laughs> hey, crazy. But this is America. People now, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to ban nativity scenes in this country. You believe that? This is America. We celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus in this country. We've been doing it for years. And that's ridiculous. Nativity scenes. We celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus ever since the pilgrims come over here with that Indian squaw and ate turkeys <laughs> and celebrating Christmas. People say, well, it offends a lot of the foreigners that are here. Well, they should have thought about that Christmas shit before they come over here, shouldn't they? <laughs> That's right. We celebrate Christmas in America. You don't like it? Keep your ass at home. <laughs> the 
it's ridiculous. Sick and tired of people coming here and then bitching about it. But they still live here, you know. That's like going to Shoney's Buffet ten times and then going, boy, that sucked. <laughs> Well, you fat ass, get out to Shoney's then. Well, we've been celebrating this Christmas for years in this country. I think that's ridiculous. And I'm trying to keep alive the nativity scene tradition. And I was part of the live nativity scene this year down there at the church. And uh, I was, but it's the last time I do it, I'll tell you that much. You know, you try to do something good for the community. Try to be a part of the live nativity scene, you know. Try to get you some rewards stored up in the heaven for you, you know, so it balances out the sin, you know. Preacher all mad at us come out there Christmas Eve. I don't think the wise man ought to be out there drinking beer. Yeah, 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 yeah. God dang, excuse me, preacher. God dang, it's cold out here. <laughs> that beer's keeping me warm. That's pretty wise if you ask me. <laughs> Supposed to be a wise man, not a jackass over there. That's ridiculous. God dang And then we had the baby Jesus in there, and the mama take him home because it'd get cold out. You know, we didn't want him to catch cold, so we stick a church midget in there. And... That sorry bastard, he did nothing but bitch the whole time he's in there. This manger's too small. Yeah, shut up, you damn dwarf. You in there playing the Lord Jesus. You got the best part in the whole nativity scene and you bitching about it. But God Almighty, you keep it up, we ain't gonna let you play the bunny at Easter time. Now you knock it off. You playing Jesus in there. You playing Jesus, you give 110%. You don't half-ass the Lord in there. The Lord made you small to play Bible characters. That's ridiculous. You know... You're going to have a nativity scene. And that was a good manger. I made that manger with wood down there from the Home Depot. That's a good damn manger I made. Bitching about my manger, I'll kick his ass. <laughs> and then we had, and that ain't even realistic. We had the Joseph, the Puerto Rican Joseph. All right. Hey, and God bless the Puerto Rican. I got nothing against Puerto Ricans. You know, I love them. I hope they all go two for two with the devil and RBI, but I ain't talking about them right now, all right? This son of a bitch, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. There wasn't no Guillermo in that Bible in there. <laughs> you know, people get mad at me. I do that joke. But let me tell you something. Puerto Rico is part of this country. People make fun of South Dakota. People make fun of Texas. People make fun of Georgia. I make fun of Puerto Rico. Try to make them feel welcome in this community. <laughs> I don't want them to feel left out or nothing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Larry! Grace, happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, my man. Happy holidays. <laughs> so what's commentary on today? I had to go pick my uncle up from work. You know, he's he's a gynecologist. <laughs> and I, he can't drive. He's got tunnel vision. <laughs> so how, I gotta how appropriate. Got to bring him home. <laughs> hey, it's the holidays. I found a letter I read to Santa Claus. All right. And uh, I'm going to read you this letter. This is when I was three years old. Okay. You want to hear it? We're ready for it, man. <laughs> I won't do it. Uh, <laughs> dear me. Santa Claus, my name's Larry the Cable Guy. And I live on Rural Route 2 in the third trailer on the right behind the Vols Lumber Yard. <laughs> Be careful coming through the door because we got a brick under the left tire to keep the living room from wobbling. <laughs> the dining room is half burnt up because the trailer caught fire two days ago and the fire department couldn't find our house, so Dad had to hop in the trailer, start it up, and meet him halfway. <laughs> wow, that would be dangerous. If it wasn't for him running two red lights, we'd have lost the whole trailer. <laughs> we ain't got no chimney, but we always leave the window open where the toilet is to air out the trailer so you can crawl through it instead of coming down the chimney. Wow. I'm leaving you some beer and some beef jerky <laughs> for you to enjoy by the Christmas tree along with the National Geographic magazine. Full of naked women with big tits carrying spears. All right. Hey, 
Yeah, I'd raise nipples. <laughs> Tell Rudolph I said hey, and if them other deers don't quit picking on him, my dad will shoot him from his tree stand. <laughs> For Christmas, I want entertainment center, a bird feeder, and two BB guns. <laughs> wow, what a variety there. My grandma... Or my grandpa wants a lift kit and fog lights for his wheelchair <laughs> and a license tag that says Muff Diving Rebel. <laughs> my mom wants a new Dick Trickle mailbox. Of course. Because Dad run into the last one and once again busted the trickle off the deck. <laughs> That's a sad thing. That is not good. <laughs> I don't know what my dad wants. He's with my brother. They're drinking, I think, because I heard him say something about bringing home a case of VD. <laughs> Be careful and don't slide down the chimney butt first in that San Francisco. Your buddy, Larry the Cable Guy. These are famous Christmas carols. I know it ain't Christmas, but I'm going to do these Christmas carols. These are good American patriotic Christmas carols, and God bless America, and thanks for coming soon. Get a job, you bum 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 bum. Money don't grow on trees, you bum 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 bum. Silent farts, deadly farts. All was calm, not for long. Oh, come, all ye legal foreigners. Come and get them green cards and learn some damn English and then how to drive. I wish my mother not get hit by a car. I wish my mother not get hit by a car. I wish my mother not get hit by a car so I wouldn't have to hear her, bitch. Blue balls, blue balls. It's dollar night at the titty club. See them dance on my pants. Soon it will be bathroom time. You better watch out. I think she's a guy. I ain't quite sure, but something ain't right. Janet Reno's coming to town. Donnie the retard had an eight pound water head. He was five foot three and he said to me, My name's Donnie. <laughs> the first queer Santa Claus wore red leather chaps and a pair of white shorty shorts that had a hole in the back. <laughs> I pissed my pants, the toilet was just too far. I drunk too much damn beer. I tried to hold it in, but my bladder just gave in. And I pissed right through my drawers, right through my Wrangler drawers. I pissed, I pissed my Wrangler drawers. Get her done, everybody. Thanks a lot. Come back and see me again. Thank you.